Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany, a programmer from Content Limit. Today, I would like to give our tutorial about to create a multi-label classification model with the Azure Custom Vision and insert this custom service into the Microsoft Power Apps. So, first of all, we need to get in the custom vision page to use this AI, we need to sign in. And here, just create a new project for your training and give it a name. And the testing resource here is the community service resource. And if you don't have one, you should create a new one. And choose your Azure subscription plan and choose your resource group. Um, if you don't have one, just create new here. And the kind of service is the quantity service here. The location, just choose your location and create resources with a name. The project type here is the classification and the classification type is the multi-label and the domain is general. So if you uh, get it wrong here, um, you can convert it later after you create the project. You can convert it in the project setting here. So don't worry if you get it wrong. So let's have a look on my training models. And in these training models, I want to distinguish um, whether it is a two times two rubric group or uh, three times three rubric group. And all of them is a group. So therefore, it, uh, it may have two or more, two or more tasks in one picture only, which means um, it is a multi-label. Because in single labels, uh, we will just have one tag in one image. It is the multi-class classification. And here I'm using the multi-label, which means in one image, we'll have one or more or just one task in a image. So let's have an example such as, um, we need to add a tag we want. Uh, for example, I have a four times four cup tag here and just new attack at your image maybe this this one this one is a four times four cup and open it so we need to assign some tags uh, for this picture or for this type of picture because it can have a multiple upload of a group of image such as I just add image here and all the two times to cook, I just open it. And my tag, of course, is a cube and two times two, and then upload. But because I already upload, so it will have a warning that um, all of these image are duplicate and it won't insert uh, one more time. So we just add a four times four cup. This one, open. And give it a tab, cup and four times tall. And upload. Yes, because it is duplicate in the cup session. So it will only insert into the four times four tabs. So click done. And this one I won't train it again and delete because the samples for one is uh, not enough. So I just delete the four times four. Because um, the number of 50 is just a drop in the ocean. So you need to put more sample in this training model to get it more precise. After you add 
the image, you should just click the train. And there is two options, the quick training and the advanced training. So for the advanced training, it may take more than one hour. You can choose, you can see the training budget. It takes a long time, so you can just choose the quick training. It may take um, around uh, one minute, yeah. Uh, but I'm not here to train more models here because I already have this one. This one is the models that I trained for one hour. Is that uh, we will insert into the Power Apps here. And there is another important step is to publish. For example, these models, I will publish it. And the model's name, we will use it later. So be careful of the model name. Choose a resource and publish. You can see that this one is the model name. And we will use it in the uh, Power Apps later. So if we want to use the custom vision surface here, we need to add a connection first. We need to new a connection with the custom vision here. The prediction key, we will have a look on this page because I won't uh, click to the setting page here. Uh, because the setting page has the project ID and the prediction key and also the endpoints. So just have a look on this. The key is your prediction key. And put your prediction key in here, this column. And the site URL is the endpoints. And then create it. So have a look on the custom mission here, the connection I have built before. So <clears throat> we'll have a look on this. I just remove it and you need to click the view and the data source at your custom mission here. Add a connector here so that you can call the service in this uh, apps. And then we will insert a camera. So a camera is here, and on select, we will use the clear collect. The collection name is image collect. And the item will call the custom mission here. Custom mission, and we'll use the classify image version two because um for this one, it seems that uh some function is not support. So let's have a look on this. What if we remove the connectors? We can't see the custom vision surface here because we removed the connector. So it is very important for you to choose your custom vision connector. Add it into your app so that you can call the surface right here. Version two. And here we will have the key. The project, uh, the key, which means is the project ID. And the next one uh, is the published name of the models we use. So we can see the performance here. This one is published and its published name is this one. For the one that I choose, 
is the multi group and paste it here. And the file, the file actually is the camera. Let's see. This one is the camera two. And choose the photo. And then get the predictions here. And then we will insert a gallery. And the data source for your gallery is the image column. Here, and we will choose just title and subtitle is enough. And we'll set the title is the text. Is the tag name. The title is the tag name, uh, which is the different tag name here. The title is this free. And the subtitle here will get the probability. Um, as the probability is not in a percentage form. So we need to times 100 and run it. In two decimal place and then give it a percentage sign here. So you can see here is the zero percent because it is there is no information in the collection. So therefore it is zero percent here. So let's have a look on the demonstration here. I have published it in uh, to my cell phone. So you can see the vision. This one is on select. And you can see the probability and the title is the tag name. So you can see it can distinguish find that it is a cube and also a two times two cube. So therefore is it the usage and the difference of the multi-table classification. So is it different from the multi-class classification? Because in multi-class classification, we can just recognize it as a cube, but not the two times two cube also. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.